This time on IFAF. Idaho Falls and Factories. Which one is best, ABC Bakers or Little Brownie Bakers? That's what we're going to determine right now. IFAF, Idaho Falls Weekly Informal Infotainment with Mike Nelson and Carly Morgan. So welcome to a little bonus mini-sode we're doing just for you. Well, it's kind of for us too. This is going to be more sugary (laughs) carbs than I've had in a minute. I know, right? We'd like to begin by thanking our benevolent benefactor, Kevin Mm -hmm. Lussie, for sending us both a full box of ABC Baker's cookies. Mm -hmm. And little brownie bakers. So you know that the Girl Scouts have two bakers uh, to serve, what, the whole world? Yeah, well... Are they are they global? Are they international? I don't know. That's a good question. At the very least, the whole nation. Look how cute these little boxes are, by the way. They really Adorable. are cute. Kevin says happy taste testing. He's one of our, lo- if not our longest time listener and former resident of Idaho Falls who now lives in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. And he's definitely been a great little benefactor for giving us these little taste testing opportunities. You really have, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, he's done a couple of them, like the Kit Kat one. Yeah. That one was really fun. Got us some Japanese Kit Kats. So good. Some Belgian chocolates. Mm-hmm. We also have to go with this, not only as a uh, palate cleanser, but also... <laughs> as a requirement, let's be honest here. I've got Reed's Dairy 2%. What do you got? Mm-hmm. Now, these are both from Reed's Dairy, but mine is technically a Paradise Grove raw milk. Yeah. You because, like the raw. Well, I, I guess I'm just kind of crunchy like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take I actually, a little sip. I usually get 2%, but if I'm, you know, getting myself a little treat, I'll get raw milk. Are you drinking 2%? Is it because you think you're fat? Because you could drink whole milk if you wanted to. Thanks, Napoleon. All right. That's now, so good. <laughs> you, you may be wondering, okay, what's the big diff, right? Aren't they the same? No. And that's what we want to get to the bottom of. ABC Bakers has slightly different recipes and even different names for their cookies. And... Idaho Falls, or at least the Silver Sage Council of the Girl Scouts, Mm -hmm. changed last year from Little Brownie Bakers to ABC Bakers. Right. So, and that took us a while to figure out, like, wait, what happened? Yeah, we got so confused. Why aren't more people talking about this? (laughs) Maybe everybody who's a Girl Scout parent already is. Right. I mean, I, I feel like we're coming into this conversation that's already in session. That it could be. Yeah. We're going to start with Thin Mints. Now, uh, one thing that's I, the classic Girl Scout cookie. It is. And one thing I want to mention is think left to right. If you're watching this, think left to right. Anything you see on the left is ABC, including me and my plate of cookies here is mm-hmm. ABC Bakers. Mm-hmm. Anything on the right, Carly's side, is Little Brownie Bakers. Right. And as we throw these pictures up, here's the dazzling array of cookies mm-hmm. as they were received from Kevin. Thanks again, buddy. He rocks so much. Well, and I think it's funny that you're saying that ABC has things different than Little Brownies because really, if anything, it should be that Little Brownies does it different than ABC because ABC was first. We should mention that in all fairness. Now, I've only had Little Brownie Baker's Girl Scout cookies up until the point when I was like 30. Right. Yeah. I'd never ha- I never knew any of this. Uh-huh. Then when I lived in Milwaukee for a couple of years, I was like, wait, what's different here? Right. Yeah. A couple of them are different. Mostly just names and stuff like that. So let's start with Thin Mints. I've got my package. Yes. And by the way, I'm not a product photographer, so I hope these (laughs) boxes printed okay on camera. And hopefully if you want to compare the packaging and the calories and the slogans and all that stuff, you can, I'll leave it up long enough for you to pause it and take a look. Yeah. So mine is uh, ABC Bakers, and it says Thin Mints. It clearly has the Thin Mints logo. Yep, thin Mints, too. And it says crispy chocolate wafers dipped in a mint chocolatey coating. Whoa. Okay, mine is already so different. Okay. Mine is crisp chocolatey cookies made with natural oil of peppermint. All right. Interesting. Huh. So I think what we should do is I'm going to have one of mine. Mm-hmm. You have one of yours. And then we'll switch. Okay. I love it. Cool. Also, how many calories is in yours? 160 per serving, which is- Four cookies. Four cookies, yeah. Okay, that's what I've got too. All right. Okay, cool. Nice. We are off to the races with a nice little Thin Mint. I'm looking over at yours. Yeah, they both have- Yeah, they both both got the little divots. They both have little kind of 
holes in them mm -hmm. that have been mostly filled in with chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm already going to say that mine tastes like a weak sauce memory of what I know a Thin Mint to be. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely tasting a nice amount of pow with the mint in mine. Mm. I mean, it's a good chocolate to a chocolate to mint ratio. Reminds me a lot of um, Junior Mints. Okay, and I love yeah. Junior Mints. Oh, yeah, same. Especially when I was a kid. Those were one of my favorites. Now we're going to switch. I feel like a cookie deal. I'm going to give you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a little cookie deal. Okay. Dark back alley. Yours is more ridgy than mine was. Okay. Mine's like, like the chocolate's smoother and flatter on it, whereas mine, like this one here, has more ridges and the divots are more pronounced. Let's go for it. Mm-hmm. This, this one doesn't really live up to expectations either. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> it smells Do so good Rona? in here, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. hmm. I definitely do feel like yours is less minty. Okay. And I just got a little bit more mint mm -hmm. right at the tail end of the Little Brownie Baker's Thin Mint, your mm -hmm. Thin Mint. Yeah. For me, I think of the two, mm. I like the Little Brownies better. I'm going to go ahead and agree with you there. Mm -hmm. So Little Brownie Bakers, Thin Mints mm -hmm. get both of our votes. Right. Now, part of that, I think, is that I don't like chocolate as much. So having the extra mintiness to it was nice to me. And I love chocolate mint. Like from back in the day, coming up, mm -hmm. mint chocolate chip. The good you, stuff. You got a little yeah, milk that mustache. Happens. So I'm going to put a M and a K. Mm -hmm. Next to the little brownie baker. I want to get this right. I don't want to mess this spreadsheet up. <laughs> right. Next to the little brownie baker's thin mints. Perfect. I love it. We both agree little brownie baker's suits our taste better. Mm -hmm. Right. And now, we could be biased because we did grow up on those. That's true. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have ABC Baker's Lemonades versus little brownie baker's lemon ups. Yeah, which also, Lemon Ups is a stupid name and we should have stuck to Lemonades. <laughs> like, that makes more sense. I think it's cuter. I think it gets the point across better. How many calories for you? Uh, 140 for two cookies. 150 for two cookies. Okay. Okay. So, so I would guess that yours would be better. Le right? <laughs> the more calories, the better. Right, right. All right. Uh, do you want to go first? So ABC Bakers bills lemonades as savory slices of shortbread with a refreshingly tangy lemon flavored icing. Ooh, okay. So mine says crispy lemon flavored cookies with inspiring messages to lift your spirit. Which also, why do they change the packaging? I'd rather have the icing. Like, why do they change the packaging depending on the bakery, I wonder? I mean, I get changing the like calories and stuff, but like, why are we doing different names and different descriptions? The, and that was when we when we first really dived into this a couple weeks ago, right? Right at the start of Girl Scout Cookie Season, mm -hmm. we were sort of pondering why isn't there more of a unified front? Right. It yeah. seems like the tail wagging the Girl Scout dog. Yeah, a little bit, right? All right. So yeah, mine's kind of a yeah. It's a shortbread cookie, and it's got that you can maybe kind of see that oh. really thin. Uh, yours looks way tastier than mine. Okay, mine's got a little bit to it though. Nice and it's got a glaze. What's the inspirational message on yours? Okay, so here's what's funny. When I first saw this sitting on the plate, I saw it kind of out of the corner of my eye, and I thought for sure it said "I'm a disaster," <laughs> <laughs> but it actually says "I'm a risk taker." Oh, that's much better. Yeah, than being yeah. a disaster. <laughs> right. And the other cookie I've got on my plate the one that's going to be for you says i am strong oh yeah yeah and there's a third one that says i am grouped <laughs> <laughs> that's all yeah. it says <laughs> right yeah that's all it ever says <laughs> right <laughs> i'm gonna do mine mm. icing side down which i think mm. is how it's designed to be eaten mm -hmm. lemon design up i love the pattern on yours mm -hmm. yours is very cute mm -hmm. uh these are kind of delicious i'll say straight off the the, the icing is kind of waxy mm. I kind of love that, though. Like, I kind of love waxy icing okay. on, like, packaged cookies. I don't know what it is about it, but it feels so, like, nostalgic. Well, and, and what do you expect for shelf-stable stuff? Mm-hmm. Right. I'll, uh, 
I'll finish eating before I talk again. Right. Yeah, this icing is a little bit more um, chewy is almost a word for it. Okay. Not quite, but it's more of a glaze. So it's not really, you don't really notice it until you get to, like, if you're biting through the cookie until you've compressed the shortbread all the way down, then it feels almost chewy at the bottom. Okay. And again, I've got the ABC Baker's Girl Scout cookies. Mm -hmm. Carly has the Little Brownie Baker's cookies. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to swap. I'm going to give her one of mine. She's going to give her one of, give me one of hers. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am strong. Thank you very much for noticing. <laughs> yeah. I chose that intentionally, mostly because I, I like the one that said I'm a disaster. Here we go. I already love the look of the icing so much better on this. And the t like, this is a much prettier cookie that I would feel less like a dork eating than the other ones. I think the little quotes are kind of dumb. Sorry. I have some thoughts. I'll wait. Hmm. I totally just pulled a kombucha girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. That meme. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lemonades. Lemon ups. Hmm. Okay, wait. Hmm. Okay. So the other one is more lemon forward. This one's a lot more shortbread forward. Yes. Yes. And I, I believe the mm -hmm. reason why little your little brownie baker's lemon ups are more lemon forward than the ABC Baker's Lemonades is there's lemon flavoring in the, more lemon flavor in the cookie. Mm -hmm. I think so too. And did you think that the Little Brownie Baker's Lemon Ups are a little more crisp? Yes, they are. Yeah, these are definitely a lot softer. Yeah. Also, I'm so stupid. I just realized that the pattern on it is a lemon. Yeah. So it looks like a little lemon slice. Yeah, little lemon wedgies. I thought it was a flower for a oh. second, but... <laughs> Yeah, lemon slice makes We're a lot more sense. We're six feet away. Yeah. Our eyes are starting to go. Mm. This milk is delicious, Reeds. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm. Hmm. Find you a hobby that you love. <laughs> I got to say, this is pretty great. Right. <laughs> We're only two cookies into it. <laughs> okay. This is a really hard one. Mm -hmm. And I almost think it's going to depend more on what mood you're in mm -hmm. than anything else. I'm going to say ABC this time. I am too. Right. I like it. I like how vanilla it is. You know, not vanilla as in boring, vanilla as in like vanilla forward. Mm -hmm. It's more shortbread forward. And I really like the icing on the bottom. Yeah. you. It leaves you with a nice <clears throat> yeah. lemon finish in the mouth. Right. Okay. <laughs> I, I can't believe it's been this easy so far. But if you're keeping track, Little Brownie Baker's Thin Mints won mm -hmm. unanimously. Between two people. Right. And ABC Baker's Lemonades won hands down over Lemon Ups. I have so many crumbs on my dress right now. That's why Rango, Carly's <laughs> yeah, Chihuahua is hovering. Circling. Uh, oh, okay. I those because they're lemon. Now, next, we have a couple of peanut butter cookies mm -hmm. to take care of. If you know your Girl Scout cookies, you know one's covered in chocolate and one's the sandwich cookie. We're right. going to start with... What ABC Bakers calls peanut butter sandwiches, mm -hmm. and what Little Brownie Bakers calls dosey -dos. dos. And I'm glad that they do one that's covered in chocolate and one that's not. Because what if you just want a peanut butter cookie and you don't want the chocolate? True. Sometimes you feel like a Reese's peanut butter cup right. cookie, mm -hmm. and right. sometimes you feel like a Nutter Butter. Yeah. Or whatever these. These are peanut butter sandwich cookies. So I think mm -hmm. the closest consumer brand I can think of would be a Nutter Butter. Would be a Nutter Butter. Yeah. ABC Bakers calls these peanut butter sandwiches crisp and crunchy oatmeal cookies with creamy peanut butter filling. That's such a boring name. It is. Yeah. I love that, you know, yeah, Little think... Brownie Bakers has changed the name. Right. Well, and not only that, but Dosey -si Dose is so much faster and easier than peanut butter sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Like, dumb. And also, it should be peanut butter sandwich cookies. You know, not peanut butter. Like, a peanut butter sandwich is its own thing. Right. You know? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so mine is do -si dos oatmeal sandwich cookies with peanut butter filling. Okay. How many calories? 170 for three cookies. Okay, I'm 160 for three cookies. Okay. So Little Brownie Bakers tends to be lower calorie-wise, huh. too, which is interesting. I wonder what their secret is. I mean, we could compare ingredients and find out if they use partially hydrogenated whatever. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. These are one of the ones that I look the most forward to. Mm-hmm. Because they just make you want to drink milk. You've right. seen that meme, right? 
where the guy's like, oh, no, I've run out of milk for my cookies. Mm Mm-hmm. Pour some more milk. Right. Oh no, I've run out of cookies for my milk. <laughs> yeah. Grab some more cookies. <laughs> yeah, and basically does that until he's just done. Yeah. <laughs> now looking at yours, mm-hmm. it looks like the peanut butter in one of these is darker. Let me see. Oh yeah. Can here. you take yours apart? I you just want to see. I think my peanut butter is slightly darker than yours. Maybe I it's just so the too. lighting. And yours also looks moister. It does look moist and oily. One, That's yeah. where the extra 10 calories that makes come sense. from. Yeah, this one looks more like the texture of an Oreo cookie. Like, you know how it's cr- like the cream yeah. isn't like oily. It's just sort of yes. creamy. Let's yeah. try it. Kay. Let's hit it. Huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just good Mm -hmm. this definitely gonna need milk after this yeah Mm. and remember how i said i felt my thin mint was a pale comparison to my memory Mm -hmm. and that could just be a function of my memory these peanut butter sandwiches Mm -hmm. taste like the real thing to me right right even though i was raised on dosi dos yeah that's that's true huh you know, these taste identical. I mean, darn near identical to a uh, nutter butter. To right. Me. You know, and I think that even the um texture of the peanut butter is more similar to a nutter butter with these ones. So I mean I think they're good. I love me a nutter butter. <laughs> you wanna trade now and try the yes. peanut butter sandwich. Ooh, and the little holes in yours are slightly more holy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like you actually can see through to the peanut butter on yours. Well, I've got a little nubbin. Is that what that is? Oh, like okay. the Oreo space dunks we tried a couple mm-hmm. of shows ago. Yeah, the little nubbins. Mm-hmm. It comes it comes up through a hole in the center of the cookie. Ooh, my like my top broke apart. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna be kind of I'm gonna kind of cheat here because I really want to give Rango a piece of this. Oh, do it. So I'm gonna give him. That's a not half of my no. Head. There's yeah. yeah. This isn't. There's no. I um, just don't know if it's gonna change the flavor profile. We're not you know? officiating anything here. Right. Right. Hmm. 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 Indeed. Hmm. Okay. Now that we've had both, I think it's fair to say that <clears throat> your little brownie baker's dosy dough, a little more crumbly mm-hmm. than the ABC Baker's peanut butter sandwich. Yes, I would absolutely agree with that. The dosy doughs also seem to be a little more. They they have a little more cream finish. Right. Is that weird? No. No, it's not weird. Um, I would definitely agree with that. Also, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, I feel like the ABC ones are a little oilier, not in an unpleasant way, but you know, yeah, kind of like, kind of like real peanut butter. Like if you take a spoonful of peanut butter, it's gonna be oily. That's just how peanut butter do be. And the, yeah, the dosy doughs are a little drier, make me mm-hmm. want more milk. Right. Do you have a clear preference there? Ooh, that's tough. I think it's going to be the do si for me. Okay. Especially because the name is less stupid. I'm going to vote for the peanut butter sandwiches, and oh. I can't believe I'm saying that. Mm-hmm. For whatever reason, that just tasted right on to me. Huh. Mm. So do si mm-hmm. gets Carly's vote. Peanut butter sandwiches get my vote. Right. And now we're going to try the chocolate-covered ones. Okay, I'm excited. So let's bring on this picture. ABC Bakers calls them peanut butter patties. Little Brownie Bakers calls them Tagalongs. ABC Baker just has worse names for their stuff. Well, they're older. I get it, but also like I mean, remember, then. We watched The Food That Built America mm-hmm. on Hulu, <laughs> season four out now. Mm-hmm. Fascinating show. Yeah. Like Oreos, or actually it wasn't Oreos. It was Hydrox that were the first right. sandwich cookies. So sandwich cookies have been around for what? Maybe a hundred years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, huh. about that. Huh. Wild, huh? So referring to the ABC Baker's... Packaging, peanut butter patties are crispy cookies layered with peanut butter and covered with a chocolatey coating. Oh, that's exactly what mine is, too. Oh, well, do you know? They agree <laughs> on one damn thing. Yeah. All right. Also, can we all agree that chocolatey is a suspicious word? No. Is it a chocolate coating or a chocolate e coating? Oh, yeah. Chocolate-esque. Yeah. Chocolate-ish. Yeah. <laughs> like, it makes you wonder. Like, just chocolate. say chocolate coating if it's chocolate. If it's not chocolate, then what is it? Chocolatey sounds so... um 
poetic, though, to me. I guess, yeah. Chocolatey goodness. Yeah, that's true. There's cream and then there's creamy. There's chocolate yeah. and there's chocolatey. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That? Anyway. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. Okay. All right. This How one, many calories? Oh, um, 130. Oh, 140. Okay. So those are higher. Funny. This is the first time. Our content. I am going to, I've been popping Ooh. some of these whole. I'm going to bite down in the middle of this one just so I can see the middle. Ooh, yeah. You got the cookie on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter filling over the cookie, and then the whole thing's covered in chocolate. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This one, this one I can instantly tell you is falling flat for me. Same. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. you're not a chocolate fan. I'm not a huge chocolate. Here's, here's the thing. I do like chocolate if I'm in the mood for it, but like my go-to flavor is never chocolate. Right. It's always like vanilla or strawberry or cheesecake or something like that. Why don't they just put those, because this doesn't have a lot of peanut butter flavor to me right it's just got a hint mm -hmm. and maybe the chocolate is which maybe that's the whole point right you know i almost feel like if you ate this so if you took a dosi -si dough -do and a tag along and you mashed those together and then ate it it'd probably be delicious yeah yeah maybe we'll frank in that <sighs> yeah i dig that after <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it just it doesn't feel like enough peanut butter the mm. so on mine the chocolatey the chocolatey coating on mm -hmm. it seems a little waxy um, and the cookies are uh, maybe a little too crisp. They're they're fine. They're just not. This yeah. This yeah. could just be neither of us. I just really might not like, like this the, cookie. Right. Yeah. Which is a shame because it's got the cutest name. There's some people listening right now going, "What? I know, right? You don't like the what? The tag along? Mm -hmm. So now I'm trying <laughs> little brownies. You're trying ABC. Right. I feel you a little bit on the wax, mm -hmm. on your waxy comment on okay. these little brownie bakers tag alongs. Mm -hmm. Also, I feel like this one's thicker. This one I think has more peanut butter. It's actually, I think, smaller in diameter and thicker, like higher up, which is kind of funny. Is there a darker peanut butter? T I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like in the little brownie bakers tag alongs. It's roasted peanuts. Right. Yeah, I could see that. Whereas in the ABC Baker's peanut butter patties, it's more like a, just a Reese's peanut butter cup filling. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little lighter, more, um, yeah, less like straight up just plain peanut butter. It's it's like a creamier peanut butter almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say this was a pretty easy one for me. Okay. Definitely the ABC Baker's is way better. I'm going to agree. Yeah. I think the chocolatey coating was less waxy. Uh, it had more peanut butter to it and a better peanut butter to chocolate ratio. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the cookies were about the same. I'm, I'm going to give that a three finger and one <laughs> thumb looking thumbs up. Okay. I like it. All right. <clears throat> Interesting. Peanut butter. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. Right. Peanut butter pa patties prefer them over tagalongs. Huh. Now, if only uh, peanut butter patties didn't have such a stupid name. And we recognize our bias again, having grown up here, having been raised on Little Brownie right. Bakers. Although I think we've been pretty even. But so far, <clears throat> yeah. out of we've done Thin Mints, Lemonades versus Lemon Ups, <clears throat> Peanut Butter Sandwich <clears throat> Cookies, and mm -hmm. the Peanut Butter Patties, Chocolate Covered. Yeah, looking at the scoring sheet right now, it looks pretty even. We'll tally these up. We've got two more to try. Here's the big one that I just am dying to do. Same. So these are my favorites by far. ABC Baker's Caramel Delights versus Little Brownie Baker's Samoas. Right, right. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's look at that packaging first real quick. Caramel Delights. Crispy cookies topped with caramel, toasted coconut, and chocolatey stripes. Okay, mine is really close. Obviously, the name is different. Samoas. Crisp cookies with caramel, coconut, and dark chocolatey stripes. Okay. And I will say... It immediately, visually speaking, hold up your Samoa. Yeah, mine looks so much darker than yours. I'll hold up my Caramel Delight. Yours looks darker and it looks 
chunkier. It looks a little sloppier too. It looks sloppier. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't hate that in a cookie. <laughs> I, no, I don't either. Right. Or in any confection. <laughs> and then really quick, mine has 150 calories. How are we looking on calories for you? 140 calories. Oh, okay. Interesting. For two cookies. All right. Hmm. So how many calories have we consumed so far? <laughs> too damn many. <laughs> a few. I've got, I've been going half cookie for some of these. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, you've got the toasted coconut. Mm -hmm. You've got the soft but still crispy cookie. Mm -hmm. You got the chocolate. You have the caramel. The caramel. That's what always gets you, you know? Mm -hmm. But they don't look super caramelly. You just look at it and you're like, oh, it's just some coconut and some chocolate. And then that caramel comes out of there and gets you, you know? These are the ones that if I were to hoard them away and hide them away mm -hmm. from the family. Oh yeah. <laughs> this would be it. Nope. Sorry kids. They're all gone. Right. Right. Crinkle, crinkle, <laughs> crinkle. What's that? Nothing. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Samoa's were the very first Girl Scout cookie I ever had. Okay. And I loved them from the second I had them. I was like, this is what everyone's talking about. That's what I, yeah. When I think of Girl Scout cookies, <clears throat> I think of Thin Mints and Samoa's. Right. Yeah. Those those Maybe really are, the dosi dos. I yeah, I do like the dosi dos. Those were pretty good. Yeah, you know, my friend used to buy. I think they were called the lemon smiles or lemon smileys or something. Yeah, where would those they, come from? Where'd those go? I don't know, but they were so freaking good, and I'm so mad that they're not like easy to get anymore. So, I am one third of the way done with a half gallon of milk. Oh, so are you? We're yeah. we're pacing ourselves pretty evenly. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> feel like Homelander. All right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 500 points for a, the boys reference. <laughs> right. Okay. Try so these. now I'm going to try your Samoa. And you're going to try I'm this. I hope I'm going to try yours. Yeah. Caramel Delight. Okay. Now that being said, if it's called a Caramel Delight, it better have more caramel than yeah. the Samoa. If it mm -hmm. doesn't, there's something wrong here. Okay. Mmm. 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 So, so good. Did you think the Samoa was a little more chocolatey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely getting that over yeah, here. Yeah. The um, caramel delights are much more caramel forward. Okay. A lot lighter tasting. The coconut is a lot more subtle, a little bit more on the back burner, you know? I'm a ratios guy. Yeah. I think I prefer the ratio just of everything. Right. Chocolate. Cookie, caramel, mm -hmm. coconut of the Samoa. Really? But I will say it's close. It's it's pretty close. It's a really close race, especially considering how different they look. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Honestly, man, I think I like the caramel delight better. What? Which I'm kind of glad for. Because now that we switched to ABC Bakers, that's gonna be the one that's readily available. Uh-huh. And if I'm knowing, like, if I know that the Samoa is better and I can't get my hands on it, it's only going to make me want it even more. Right. But yeah, I just, I think that the caramel is just a little, like, there's a little bit more caramel to it. And I just like that a little bit more. I knew it would come to this. Right. Should I try one more of each? Yeah, you here, you want the halves I of mine? I might have to. Oh, really? Did you do that? Yeah. Yeah, I've got halves here. <clears throat> okay. I was thinking we'd have to duck out and go back to the test kitchen. <laughs> but okay, I just coming off the Samoa. Let's try the caramel delight again. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. A little more caramel. Caramel delight is more caramel forward. Mm -hmm. You watch uh, way more Food Network, I think, than I do. So you know the phrases, <laughs> the phraseologies. Thank you. I think so. Well, you, you know, it's funny though, you and I, so I've been saying it pretty consistently throughout this caramel, but I don't usually say caramel. I was trying to keep it consistent for uh -huh. the viewers. I'm more of a caramel person. Although now that I'm a little older and I'm looking at it and stuff, realistically, that word looks like it should be pronounced caramel. Yeah. I say caramel apple. Yeah. Caramels. It used to bother me more. Now, honestly, I think I might be a little one over to the caramel side. 
wow, now I'm just, my head is spinning. I know, right? My head is spinning because I, I'll say this. The differences are so, so subtle. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. But if I yeah. had, if I was hard pressed to state an opinion, I'd have to say Samoa. Okay. Okay. Well, and to be fair, you also do like chocolate a little bit more than me. And specifically, yeah. you like dark chocolate more than me. Yeah. So realistically, if you don't like dark chocolate, the Caramel Delights is the way to go. There you go. If you like dark chocolate, you got to go Samoa. So I want to make sure I'm tracking this here. Mike votes for Samoa's. Mm-hmm. Carly votes for Caramel Delights. I sure do. Caramel Delights. <laughs> Caramel Delights. <laughs> So really, all we have left before we do give you a final tally here is one cookie that I believe is exclusively available through ABC Bakers mm -hmm. and one cookie that is available exclusively through Little Brownie Bakers. Correct. So we're going to compare and contrast Adventurefuls uh -huh. with Girl Scout S'mores. Okay. Which also, I kind of think that S'mores is like the quintessential, like it, it's so evocative of Girl Scouts. Well, when I think of Scouts, yeah. I think of camping. When I think of camping, you think I think of s'mores. s'mores. Yeah, yeah. no, and that's the thing. It's a cookie that should exist for sure, and the fact that it only half exists seems like a little bit of a travesty to me. <laughs> you know? Right. This is I mean, I think our my central feeling still is, "Hey Girl Scouts, yeah. get it together, present a unified front." Right, right. Yeah. But yeah, I just I guess I kind of wonder how did they not start with s'mores, you know? So Adventurefuls are indulgent brownie-inspired cookies. Okay, with caramel-flavored cream and a hint of sea salt. And look how good they look. Okay, they do look pretty good. Yeah, they look like a chocolate cookie with a dollop of caramel and chocolate stripes. Mm -hmm. Adventurefuls are 130 calories for two cookies. Oh, nice. How okay. about your s'mores? Uh, so the s'mores are 150 calories. Now, can I read my little description here, too? Absolutely. So mine are Girl Scout s'mores. They're graham, okay, just a graham sandwich cookies with chocolatey and marshmallowy flavored filling. See, and again, there's that chocolatey to be to come in and be suspicious, you know? I don't know why you assign suspicion <laughs> to the why. Like, okay, what, one of one earlier cookie, mine said crispy, mm -hmm. yours said crisp. Right, but crispy is kind of a normal... So it's chocolatey. Uh, yes, I guess. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I think, all right. You're right. You know what? Maybe I'm just inherently suspicious of chocolatey. Maybe you are. That's funny. That okay. sounds more like a you thing. Well, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So I like that the brownies one is sort of, I know, I'm sorry. I, Hurry let me up. get to my point. Okay. <laughs> it's just sort of like two of the components of the Samoa minus the Coconut. Now, I am expecting, what, a uh, chocolate cookie on this one, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. That was correct. Oh, damn, these are good. <laughs> this is delightful. Okay. Is it really? You yeah. like yours? I do like mine. It actually reminds me a lot of these um these little Mexican candles, not candle, candles, candies you can get called Duvalin, but basically they're like frosting in a little tiny cup and they give you one of those little plastic spoons and you just scrape out as much as you can of that. It's so good. Uh, yeah, uh, that's delicious. And it's got a nice chocolatey flavor to it that I actually kind of dig. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> My Adventureful was a crisp Was it chocolate. Adventureful? It was is full of adventure. <laughs> it was a crisp chocolate cookie a chocolate that almost tastes like the edge of the brownie pan. Ooh, okay, you nice. Her? I do. And then just a nice little dollop of the caramel. Mm -hmm. I didn't taste the sea salt. You want to try these then? I do. I do. I and, can't and wait I for you to try an adventureful. And I forgot to mention too. I'll try your s'mores. These graham, the cookies on the graham cracker, well, sorry, the cookies on the s'mores is actually really vanilla. Mm. Like it's got a really like vanilla heavy flavor. So I dug that. Big okay. time. Yeah, I'm stoked. I'm, I can't wait to try these. And I'm just opening the s'mores up. Mm -hmm. There's not only a chocolate filling, but a white filling mm -hmm. as well. Marshmallow. <laughs> okay. So you got yeah. your graham cracker, your chocolate, and your marshmallow in a cookie. Mm -hmm. mm. 
I know, right? I wasn't expecting these to be that good. I know, I wasn't either. Wow. They kind of blew me away, honestly. The Adventureful is pretty good. But of the two, I definitely like this more better. And I think this could just be a chocolate thing. It could be. I'm going to have to go with the Adventureful. Okay. It was, to me, it was the surprise of the night. Right. You weren't expecting it, huh? I've never had one, and I certainly wasn't expecting to be as good as it was. Mm -hmm. Same for your s'more, but I like the Adventureful better. I think it's more up my alley. Right, right. Same. Um, You know, though, I almost wish, I think I would have liked the Adventureful better if it would have had slightly more caramel, and if they would have had a little bit more of that sea salt flavor, you know? Right. I was expecting a little... Yeah, I wanted that little kick, and I didn't get it. Salt kick. And so it feels a little... I feel a little cheated. Your s'more, the Little Brownie Baker's s'mores cookie, Mm -hmm. I was surprised by the amount of vanilla and marshmallow flavor. Yeah, right. Well, I think it's because... Chocolate's such a heavy flavor, you almost have to overcompensate in order to get them on the same playing field. So out of these two that are completely unrelated, we know it shouldn't even be a contest. Apples and oranges, adventurefuls and s'mores. Mm -hmm. Your vote is for the s'mores, mine is for the adventurefuls. Right. If there was, we've now tried six different Girl Scout cookies. Mm -hmm. I mean, we should say 12 because six different cookies from (laughs) two different bakers. Right, right. If you had to go back... And say, please, sir, may I have some more? Ooh. Which one would it be for you? Uh, Probably, I mean, that Caramel Delight, man. I kept going back for that. All right. I do love the Caramel Delight. Other than that, since, you know, Samoas have always been my favorite. So, of course, the equivalent of ABC would also be top tier. Um, Probably the Lemon Ups. Okay. Super, or are they lemonades? The This one. The oh, one, the one with the lemon yeah, wedge. Yeah, the one that actually looks like the lemon. And the thin layer of frosting underneath right. on the bottom are the lemonades, the ABC okay, Baker's good, Lemonades. That's, that's the only one that they have a better name between the two. Yeah. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> I would, yeah. if I had to go back, I mean, like, once we shut down this recording mm-hmm. and go wander back to the test kitchen. <laughs> right, right. Put away our milk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll probably grab an adventure full. Oh, I bet you would. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty good. You know, or a dosy dough would be nice. Mm, craving taste in my mouth. Or, yes, or yeah. a dosy dough. Yeah, those are pretty good. Okay, so let's tally this up, shall we? Yeah, let's. You hold up a finger when your team wins. <laughs> I'll hold up a finger when my team wins. Okay, I love it. My team being ABC Bakers, your team being Little Brownie Bakers again, left to right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, this was a logistical nightmare for Mikey <laughs> to figure out. It seems simple, but once you get like... <laughs> 12 kinds of cookies. A lot of thought went into this. Yeah. Thankfully, all by Mike. <laughs> well, and I and I hope I didn't mess it up. I'm 99% pretty sure I kept them all separate. Double right. checked the packaging several times. Mm-hmm. You know, kept the ABC bakers in one pile and on one plate. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll hold up one finger for, well, let's see. You get to hold up the first finger. Okay. Because Little Brownie Baker's Thin Mints won over ABC Baker's. Those Thin Mints, though. They I'll, were so good. I'll put up an ABC Baker's finger for Lemonades. We both unanimous, unanimously agreed that they were won over Lemon Ups. Right. I agree. Okay. Peanut Butter Sandwiches. Mm-hmm. We both had a tie. <clears throat> oh. So should we both, should we just make that a full point for yeah, each one? I would say so. Okay. So far, we're tied. Then the chocolate-covered peanut butter cookies, the patties versus the tagalongs, um, ABC Bakers won both of those, unanimous again. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so right now, it's three for ABC Bakers and two for Little Brownies. Okay, Caramel Delights versus Samoas. Each we get both a point. get a point. Mm-hmm. And then Adventurefuls versus Girl Scout S'mores both get a point. Right. Okay. I can't believe this is happening. It's ABC Baker. I didn't see this coming. I know, right? That's kind of crazy, huh? ABC Baker's wins five to four. Wow. Okay. And the one that really cinched it was those lemonades, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the thing that turned the tide, I think. Well, if you disagree, go ahead and add us. Yeah. Tell us how stupid we are. (laughs) No, I would love if this was more of a discussion. This was accuresque. 
Yeah. And scientific-ish. <laughs> right, right. But anyway, I kind of get it. Realistically, I think it's very easy for someone to come up with an argument that could sway us one way or another. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about how we've uh, how we voted today. Well, that was lots of fun. <laughs> Tons. If you're hey. seeing this episode and wondering who the hell we are, you can find us at ifafpod.com. <clears throat> Listen on uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Facebook, YouTube. Thanks for... Uh, Thanks for being on this wild ride with us. Yeah, we're a podcast all about Idaho Falls and the friends that surround us. So Pocatello, Rexburg, all our little buddies here. And let's be honest, like the whole nation, we, we talk about a little bit of everything. Time to take a sugary carb nap. Yeah, let's go. I'm, I'm ready to pass out. See you next time. <laughs>